everybody welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me here today today i thought we'd have a look at this stamp and die set that i picked up from Teemu and make a christmas card out of it so let's jump into it hi everybody welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me here today today i thought we would make a christmas card using this stamp and die set that I picked up from Teemu. I've also got at the side of me my big bag of 168 colours that I picked up from Amazon, no eBay, eBay and I thought we would use those to colour these in. So you bought these individually, I've had them a while but they are on uh, one of my Teemu craft hauls I paid £1.29 for each, so I paid £1.29 for the, for the dies and £1.29 for the stamps. And I thought we would just have a look at them and make um, a Christmas card. I think I'm just going to make a little 4x4. Four four. Um, I don't want a huge card. So in here you get the dies for a speech bubble. So that one is there. Then we have the jumper die that will match all of these jumpers that you can stamp out. I'm just going to take this notch off so that it doesn't cause any damage to any more of my papers. Um, then we have the matching dies. And these come off really easily. I'm just using a pair of um, jewelry making pliers from my jewelry making days. We then have the matching dies to all of the characters. So this one is the reindeer. We then have the bear and the fox. And this is the die to the candy cane. So that's the candy cane die. I don't know if I'm going to use that one to be fair today. Then we have the dies for the hats as well. We don't have any dies for these longer sentiments. These little ones, I believe, are supposed to fit into the speech bubble. Just going to take off all of these notches because if you don't, and if you haven't used Team U dies, and it could be on other dies as well, I'm not sure, um, or at least like from places like Sheen and Wish and things, is that if you don't take those little notches off, they will also die cut into your paper or cardstock or whatever you're using, and it will make a bit of a mess. Mine used to until I got given the trick of um, taking them off with like a little set of pliers or you could use like the jewellery cutters. Um, I can't actually find mine, but I find that for the most part, these do just break off by bending them anyway. So my pliers are perfect for this. And because they're little jewellery ones, they get into even the tightest of spaces. So that is all of my dies. I'm going to be using my Sizzix Sidekick. It's perfect for these smaller dies um, without having to get my big machine out. I'm going to grab a piece of cardstock. This is nothing fancy. It's just some that I bought from Amazon a while ago. And it does the job for what I need it when I'm working with stamps. I don't want or need anything particularly fancy. So I'm going to grab my little stamping block. I have got on order a stamping platform. I've treated myself to a, um, oh, Tim Holtz one. I went for the Tim Holtz. There were so many to choose from. I really didn't know what to pick up. 
and so I went for Tim Holtz and then I'm going to be stamping with my Versafine ink I just used the black one um, it's the pigment ink so it shouldn't move or anything and I'll be able to do all of my colouring so I'm going to stamp all three of the characters that's a definite so let's take our first character I'm going to give the stamp a quick wipe try and remove any sort of debris or anything i've also had people say about um sanding them down with like nail files and things um i never have um i think lots of people do let's try and ink this up um that came off of my last one of my videos i did a card using a stamp from creative uh, crafter's companion and i think some people thought it was because i hadn't sanded it or rubbed it or anything the the stamp is defective it, you can see where there is a section of the stamp that isn't as tall as the rest of it which makes it impossible to stamp it um some people did say that using a foam block underneath will probably help and i think you're right that will probably help me um i just don't have one available at the minute um I'm just going to give that a quick wipe and then pop that back in. I always try and clean off my stamps pretty quick so that the ink doesn't dry on them. I've got the next one which is the bear. Again, I'm going to give it a quick wipe and grab a clean I've just grabbed another. I've got loads of these. I'll make these, so it's fine. Again, I'm going to ink it up. Stamp it down. I'm not bothered where it goes because I'm going to die cut all of these anyway. Give this a wipe. Clean it off. I can't believe we are edging closer and closer to Christmas. Really excited for it this year, though. I'm excited for it every year, but this year, I cannot wait. Ink up Mr. Foxy. Or Miss Foxy. Stamp that down. These are stamping beautifully. They're so nice. Then I'm gonna stamp I'm gonna stamp three speech bubbles. I don't know if I'm gonna definitely use all three. I've not decided yet. So that's one speech bubble. Just knocked my ink onto my pens. Oh well. It's two. Oh, I just knocked that one. That's two nice ones. three nice ones i'll miss that one because i caught it wipe my stamp off what i'm going to do is i'm just going to get everything stamped out that i want so what are these little got a little merry christmas Merry Christmas. So someone's definitely going to say that. I don't know if I want to use any of the others. Uh, 
might just leave it at that and then the jumpers i don't know which ones to use I might use the christmas tree one I might use the snowflake one and then I might go for the Santa one There's my three little jumpers as well. And then what I might do is I might do two with hats and one with the speech bubble instead. Pop these all back. One, two, three. I'll do two different hats. There we go. So I've stamped out everything that I'm going to need. So we'll pop the stamps away now. I'm going to put my black ink away too check my fingers to make sure I don't have anything on me which I don't think I have then I'm going to colour them in first so if you haven't seen my haul I have a big bag of 168 colours that I picked up from eBay they're just some cheap ones I only paid £22.58 for the entire set there is a haul in my on my channel as well that shows me using them um, so please do head on over and have a look but we're gonna get started in colouring in our gorgeous little characters um, let's have a look what do I want I always do a few testers along here because I'm not always sure what colours I want it's quite a nice colour mm -mm -mm. What I might do is I will fast forward this and put some music on so you haven't got to hang about while I decide what colours I'm going to pick.
go that is all of the coloring so i always tend to have like a tester palette as you might say so i'll grab colors out that i think i want to use but i just want to double check that the color is how it looks when it writes on the pen the number of times i've used colors and they've been different and i've just not liked them so i figured i'd do that i've colored out all of my elements so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to cut these smaller so that i can start running these through my die cutting machine So I use the Sizzix Sidekick, it's a nice miniature machine that I can have just on the side of my desk. And then I'm going to pop this to one side because there's still a lot of white card on there that I can use for another project another day. There we go. I'm going to bring in my sidekick. I have my cutting plates. And then my low tack tape. These are all the die pieces. So I'm not going to use the candy cane. Do you have this? Try and line this up as best as you can. Because a lot of these pieces are little, I should be able to actually fit a few pieces through at the same time. And if you don't want to use the stamped image of the, um, the jumper or you don't want to use one to colour in, you could stamp the plain jumper stamp over just some patterned, card patterned cardstock and then just die cut it out and do it that way. So I'll take these bits off. So I have my little Merry Christmas sentiment. Can then move that die out the way as well because I've now done with that. And we have our first little die cut jumper. How cute are those? I'm going to pop that over there. I do still need this die though because I still have plenty of jumpers left to cut. There we go. Oh, so I got, got the hats. They can go on this one actually. Don't worry about the cracking, it's totally normal. Nothing to worry about if you have never heard that noise before. So that's another jumper. 
And again, I still need that die because I have another jumper here to die cut. that so it fits nicely and then here we have our hats so we've got that one again I'm finished with that die cut that die now so that can go out the way just helps to keep it clear if you know where which ones you've used and which ones you still need and then we have that little hat as well Then we're going to start doing our little characters. So we've got the bear. There's a little bear ready for his jumper. Let's do the reindeer next. This is my last jumper. There we go. So pop that there, pop that die over there. And yeah, I'm going to be able to put Foxy on too. So let's get Foxy done. Move my die cut machine out of the way now too. We have Foxy. Then we have our little reindeer. They have cut absolutely beautifully. I cannot fault them at all. I throw away my little scraps because I don't need these. I'm not really going to get much use out of those now. I'll put my dies back so I know where they are. I am determined to pick up some proper die storage. Um, I keep looking at different options. I don't yet know if I want something in like a booklet folder thing or just some magnetic sheets in some clay plastic pouches i've not decided yet so let's move all of these bits and pieces out the way then i'm gonna grab a four by four card blank and we're gonna start putting this together Now, I don't know whether I want it on just a plain white background or whether to put some paper behind it. Let me have a look at my Christmas papers. Right, I've had a quick look and I found this. It's not actually a Christmas paper pad, but it is a white cardstock paper pad. It's called A Precious Pearl by Craft Perfect Tonic Studios. And... 
think I'm going to pick some one of these. That's the pearlescent. I'm not so sure. I like it, but I don't know if that's what I want. Oh, the glitter's nice. Oh, yes, we're going to go for glitter. It doesn't shed, so that's amazing. So let's take out a sheet of this. Just to give it something a little bit more, a little bit extra. So I'm going to use my ATG for this to line my cardstock with. it down and then we'll give it a trim So that's a beautifully glitter lined cardstock and now i think i want foxy in the middle to kind of break it up because both of my other characters are brown so i want something like uh this middle character mr foxy is going to have the speech bubble in fact no because i can't mm, can i get a hat on no, let's go this way around then. I might put them actually at slightly different levels maybe, like that. There, maybe a little bit further down actually. A little Merry Christmas speech ball. Then they're all going to have jumpers. to glue it all together but I think that's going to be really cute yes I like that I feel like this is going to have quite a bit of decoupage on because I think I want to decoupage them so let's work one character at a time I'm going to grab my foam tape so first off let's get this jumper stuck down So there's our little bear.
Better, there's our little box lock. This is so cute. And then Then we've got Mr. Reindeer. And then what we're going to do is the characters themselves are going to be decoupaged. And then the little fox and the little bear that's got the hats I need to do a double decoupage on the top of the hat so that they sit a bit more level once it's on the card so I'm going to stick those two together like so And a teeny tiny piece for Mr. Bear. Just squidge in here, like so. And then a slightly bigger piece for Mr. Fox's hat. Might help if I took the back off. slightly bigger piece there for Mr Fox's hat to keep that sitting nicely. I'm also going to decoupage this up too. It's too big. Then. Now this should stick to the glitter, but just in case, I am just going to put a little bit of wet glue onto each of the foam pad sections as well, so that I know for definite that it is stuck on. So I'm thinking Mr. Reindeer there roughly with the speech bubble. Foxy here. And Mr. Bear here. So I'm going to take off the foam pad backings, take off my glue cap, oh. I don't want a lot, I just want to make sure that this adheres to the glitter paper. And then just this to trick on. And there we go. What do you guys think? I absolutely love that. And I think that that glitter card on the back just adds a little bit to it so it doesn't look quite so plain without distracting from the main features i think if i'd have gone for quite a colorful background even a christmasy colored background i think it would have distracted from those little characters on the front 
I absolutely love that. I think I'm going to be making a few more of these because that was really, really easy to put together. The dice cut beautifully and I just love that card. I think that's just gorgeous. Um, Thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope this has inspired you to get your crafting out. Please do hit me a comment down below. What are you guys up to? What are you guys making? Are you excited for Christmas? Um, are you busy making Christmas crafts? Or maybe you've moved on to the next one. I know as a crafter, we don't really make that same um, seasons crafting. Um, believe it or not, before Christmas comes, I'll probably end up starting to work on my Valentine's Day things. Um so yeah let me know what you guys are up to i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please do hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you know each and every time that we make a card we are trying to keep our videos we're trying really hard to stick to a daily video i've tried to cut back and every time i cut back i get bored and, and i just miss you guys so I'm not committing myself to a card a day, but there is a very, very high potential that it will end up being a card a day. Um, so, yeah, expect to still see lots of videos from me card making um, and some of my other crafts as well. Thank you so much for joining us here today and hopefully we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.